hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee and you've seen the huge zucchini that I just grated up. So that zucchini got away from me in the garden, believe it or not. I missed it. And I don't know how I did. But anyway, beautiful. We're going to utilize it. We're going to make a huge batch of zucchini bread, some for my freezer and some for my market stand. I've got my recipe that I am tripling. And I will put the um, regular recipe in the description box. Unless you want to make a huge batch like this, it freezes beautifully. So here we go. I've got my big daddy bowl out. And you're about to see that. And we'll start getting this filled up. Voila. That's the big one. Okay. So I'm going to tell you what all I have as I go because I am going to list all these ingredients. So first thing first, I'm going to whip nine eggs in here. Okay. And then I am going to put all my sugar in here. I've got three cups of brown sugar and three and a quarter cups of white sugar in there. Okay. I'm going to add to that three tablespoons of vanilla. And then I'm going to mix this bad boy up. There we go. And we're going to start mixing this. Get those eggs all busted up. See that? That's why I like this big old bowl. I love it. Beautiful. And I've got my zucchini. You're going to want to, if you grate yours fresh, you're going to definitely want to squeeze it out. Squeeze out the liquid as much as possible. And I did that, and I've got just enough measured out, and it's sitting in my strainer. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, to that we're going to add three tablespoons of cinnamon, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of baking soda, and one tablespoon of baking powder. And I'm going to put those in there. And I'm going to mix that in. So I know it's going to get mixed in and it won't be in clumps left in the flour. So mix that in real good. That's beautiful. I've been selling baked goods like crazy out in my market stand. So that's kind of a little blessing that I found this. Zucchini that got away from me in the garden. And the reason why it got away from me, I did miss it. I should have seen it today. But I did go down to Detroit with my husband. We were gone for two days. So in that two days, that zucchini got rather enormous. But that's all I do with the ones that are too big in the garden to sell in the market stand. Is I grate, grate them up and I freeze them for zucchini bread. Let's see. I hope I don't lose that in there. Okay, I think that's all right. Now, I'm going to put three cups of oil. And I'm using regular vegetable oil. And if you're wondering, yes, that's my rooster container that I store my oil in. There's one. This seems like an awful lot, friends, but you know what? I need more oil. Two. Hold that thought. I got to get another bottle of oil. And this will be number three. And there we go. All our oil's in there. All right, so we're going to mix that up in there. I love my great big bowl. I bought this down at the Mennonite store. If anybody's wondering, it's like a 30-quart bowl. And I love this thing. Oh, look at that. Get all mixed up real nice in there. This will give you a workout. Okay, so with that, let me put my steam away. Otherwise, I'll put some of that in there. We've got nine cups of flour going in there. And I'm 
I'm not going to mix it with that. I'm going to mix it with my big rubber spatula. So we're going to mix that all up in there. Beautiful, hey? Maybe now that I got it mixed up some, I can go ahead and use my whisk. Okay. That's going to do a little better there. It's getting thick. To go back and forth. Okay, now my zucchini, I've got eight cups there, and it was draining in there, and we're going to fold this all in there real nice. We've got most of the liquid out of there. You're never going to get all of it, but you can get most of it. Get that mixed in real good. Okay, now this is ready for the pans. So I've got two pans right here. Let's move this over. I've also got my oven preheated to 325. Okay, and I'm just going to take my measuring cup here. Pour some in there with it. I'm going to do about three and a half cups in each of my bread pans. One. that one. I got a few more here. These ones are a little smaller, so I may not put as much in there, but it might hold it. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Well, I'm just going to put three cups in that one. This is a bigger one.
And if I got any left over that won't fill these pans, I'm just going to make muffins with them. And I'll put them in the freezer for my husband's little freezer for his truck because he loves this. about good for that. And if I don't have enough for muffins, I'll just divvy it up between these and we'll have some hefty loaves. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's enough left. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in here in amongst these. I scraped out real good. I don't want to waste none of this. This stuff is like gold in my home. All right, let's see here. without making a big mess on my counter. There we go. We got it, friends. All right, set that aside. These are going to go on a 325 degree oven for about 55 to 60 minutes. So when these are done, I'll bring you back and show you just how beautiful they turn out. Okay, friends. These come out of the oven and they're, they're cool enough. What is that? I'm not even sticking. I just want to make sure. I'm going to run my knife around here real quick just to make sure they're not going to stick anywhere. Most likely they won't. Beautiful. Take a look at that. Look at that steaming. Oh, gorgeous. I'm going to put this one up here. Here's number two. These turned out absolutely beautiful. That one's not sticking anywhere. I can tell you that right now. Okay. Pull that out. Gorgeous. Look at that. How beautiful those turned out. You always want to run your knife through. I'm not saying they're going to stick, but, you know, it beats dumping it out and having it break on you. There it goes. Gorgeous. Those friends are beautiful. Ooh, they're hot. at all. There it goes. These will sell like crazy out on my market stand. I'm telling you, people love these. They love the homemade bread. They love the homemade cinnamon rolls I do. And my brownies. My big batch brownies that I made, I've done two videos on them. Those, I sell a nice big brownie for a dollar. I have sold about $70 worth of brownies in the last few days. It's, it's amazing. I have made brownies till the cows come home. Take a look, friends. These are gorgeous. 
Now I don't want to cut into this because they are still quite hot, but they're beautiful. They're going to be moist and delicious. You can add anything you want to these nuts. Um, my aunt used to put mini chocolate chips in there with nuts. I, on the other hand, just did these plain because there's a lot of people that are allergic to nuts and a lot of people who don't like nuts. So I just did them plain. That way, you know, they're good for everybody. And nobody has to worry about nuts. So there you have it, friends. Give this recipe a try. I'll put it in a description box that freezes beautifully. All I do when I freeze them is I wrap them in plastic wrap and then some tin foil. I put them in the freezer. They'll last up to three to four months in the freezer. They're beautiful. There you have it. Thanks for watching.